Hello, you lovely people. Welcome back to my channel. And as you might have gathered from the heading, um, this is a very, oh, dear to my heart video, guys. Um, as much as I'm going to muck it up, because I can tell you now, I'm filming this in reverse again, you know, like I sometimes do. And uh, yeah, I managed to muck it up a bit. For a start, I thought that I didn't have any ROMs on this thing. And the whole point of this video was to show you custom firmware and emulation running on an extremely rare piece of kit. So not only is it a rare piece of kit, guys, it's from 2005. So I've got some age to it as well. So it's looking at emulation from back in 2005. <sighs> yeah, well, I mucked it up a bit, guys, because there was a ROM on there and I was able to show you at least Sonic the Hedgehog running on the Mega Drive over this little beauty. And as you, like I said, guys, as you gathered from the heading, I'm talking about my all-time favourite handheld, the Gizmondo. Yeah, we're going to look at the custom firmware. Now, obviously, I've been doing a hell of a lot of videos, guys, on other devices with custom firmwares on them. And I thought, you know what, it'd be nice just to step back in time, back to 2005, guys, when this little beauty came out much to uh, all the horror of the story around it with swedish mafia and oh dear god wasting money crashing ferraris and going to prison all that gubbins but this machine guys was actually a fantastic little handheld if only the company behind it would have actually behaved themselves. It could have been something. And of course it came out at the wrong time, guys, as the DS and the PSP were around. You know, it had no chance against them, really. Um, but it had some fantastic games on it. In the tiny little library, it had some fantastic games. Now, these days, to pick one up, guys, is extremely expensive. I mean, even um, a loose one, you could pay up to about oh, £100 now. That's not even boxed or anything, guys. And then if it's got games with it, the games sell for anything up to 200 quid, guys. This is an expensive unit. Expensive to get the unit and expensive to get the games. So, if you wanted to go and pick yourself up a loose one, um, hmm. I've got three of them, guys, so I'm greedy. I've got a fully boxed one that's sealed, which is in storage. I've got one that's been re-sprayed and looks gorgeous, sitting over there, and it's hardwired. And I've got this one, guys, which is a loose one. Uh, this is the one I had originally. Uh, unfortunately, the box got damaged in uh, when I had a leak once, years ago. <sighs> Like a lot of things got damaged, but at least this survived it. So yeah, I've got this, guys. Now, I want to get an elephant out of the room. Again, I've said this many times before, guys. If you're looking to buy one of these, do not go by these people who are saying that they're melting. They're not melting, guys. I've said this many, many times before. I'm going to say it again, because this is for somebody who's looking for one of these now and wants to smack a custom firmware on it and get all the games for free. So, they are not melting. Originally, guys, these have a rubber feel to them, like a rubber all over them, black rubber, and uh, that is turning to liquid. That is very true, very, very true. Now, to clean this one up, for instance, I bought it, you know, obviously brand new, but over time, yes, it did liquefy, unfortunately. Um, because it was a lovely feeling thing once, you know, when it had that rubber coating on there. But I literally used a wet wipe to get that off. It's not true, guys. They're not melting. There's hard plastic underneath and they quite happily survive it. So I used a wet wipe to get it off. You could use some sort of alcohol rubber something to get it off. Um, but I did it just with plain and simple baby wipes. So, yeah. And now it is completely clear of it. And there's not a sticky bloody blob on it anywhere. So that is not true. Underneath there, underneath that rubber, guys, there is hard plastic and you can rescue it quite happily. So yeah, let that just stay with you there. 
Another thing to warn you about if you're going to buy one of these, the batteries are dying. So if you see one, which you do quite often, you see one on there guys, that has no charger with it. Stay clear, I can't stress that enough. Don't buy it guys, it has a priority, priority, <laughs> a prioritary, I'll get it right, charger guys. And it has got the tiniest pin in the world on it. And nothing else uses it. I haven't come, oh, seriously, I've searched and searched all these years for something else that uses it. And I can't find anything, guys. I haven't come across one. You know, you get all these multi plugs and whatever, the, the multi adapters. There's never that size on there. You just can't get one, guys. Um, so stay bloody clear because all the batteries are dying and you need that flipping charger to power them. Now I'm lucky if I leave it on charge long enough, I might get a couple of hours out of it, but even that, it's gonna die in the end guys, and you need the charger. There is ways of hacking batteries. You can use different batteries from phones and things and hack them, you know, at the end of the day, um, it's got a very similar f uh, battery, I'll show you, to what you got back in the day in quite a few mobile phones. So there are ways around it of hacking other batteries soldering bits on and shit like that and uh, getting a nice new battery out of it but it's a bit of a walk around to say the freaking least and I've never ever done it I couldn't be freaking arsed I just use my charger and I'm not going to take it anywhere anyway I'm never going to risk anything happening to it so it's not going out the bloody house so there you go if I play it I sit on my ass on the sofa and play it at a plug but if you wanted to you can now while we're here we might as well have a look here Yes, it is almost like a phone. You can text message with it. As you can see, there's the old SIM card there, old style SIM. Yes, you can text message with it, which we're going to cover a little bit more in the video. So yes, guys, don't let that put you off. And that SIM card I just showed you, you have to have one in. It will not operate unless you've got one in. So make sure you've got an old style SIM card kicking around, or at least, you know, the adapters are still on the little SIM card and you should be fine. Um, yeah, what a fantastic machine, guys. And if you are looking to buy one, you're gonna be spending quite some money. So that's what we're gonna do, guys. What we're gonna do is we're gonna jump on there. We're gonna look at the Service Pack B, guys. This is um, the custom firmware. You can download it very, very easily off the internet. And, uh, and then, you can not only download all the commercially released games. Com what is wrong with me? Commercially released games. Oh, I'm tripping over my words this time. Yeah, you can get all them, guys. And you can get all the unreleased games as well. That Where they got to at that point where they went kaput. Uh, they were released to the Gizmondo forums, which I was a member of at the time. And we got them all. And then some mug, whoever that was, and we never did find out who release them onto the net so everybody's got them now so oh here we go now i'm smacking the tripod i'm not having a good time with this video am i but yeah um you can quite happily buy the gizmondo doesn't matter if you've got any games with it as long as you've got yourself an old style sd card and what i mean by that guys is one of these i mean this is only a two gig guys a two gig old style sd card there we are i'm sure you can probably use micro sd cards in an adapter but what I'm, you know, I'm just being careful here. Because it's all tech, guys. So I'm using an old style SD card, two gig one, and it's got every single thing on there. And you can put lots of uh, ROMs on as well and run all sorts of uh, emulators, which I'll show you. Not running necessarily only the Mega Drive one, but I'll show you which ones are available that you can use for emulation. So yeah, get yourself an old SD card just to be safe like I have, and you'll be fine with this little baby. So right, shall we do that? Shall we jump on Tiger Telematics Gizmondo, have a look at custom firmware running on it, and uh, yeah, and then we'll have a look at some games, and uh, at least one ROM running on it anyway, to make it you know, feasible that it's an emulation video as well. So right, let's see how much more I can muck this up, shall we? What with tripping over words, smacking tripods, and just basically messing things up. 
But that's my videos, guys. What's and all. You know it. I don't edit it. I leave it in. Right. Hold on to your britches. Because this is a video that you won't see every day. The Tiger Telematics Gizmondo's custom firmware. Back in a sec. Right, here we go, guys, with the infamous Tiger Telematic Gizmondo. We're revisiting it again, guys. We're going to have a look at a few games in one hit. I feel like we need to revisit it every now and then, guys. And this is a perfect way of doing it by having a look at what's on this thing. Uh, obviously, it is running a custom firmware. Now, with all this portable emulation videos I've been doing, I felt it was a need to show you an all really obscure handheld, guys. So that's running custom firmware from back in the day. Um, yeah, you're gonna <laughs> you're gonna see something here, guys. Um, if you know the Gizmondo at all, if you've ever used one or turned one on, you will know that the boot icon already is very different on this version because this is running what they call Service Pack B. So it is a custom firmware. So right, let's grab him. Obviously, all the Gizmondos, guys, the batteries have died. So your only option is that. Tiny, tiny little charger, guys. And if you haven't got one of them, you've got no freaking chance of getting one. But right, let's grab him. There's your charger port there. Shove it in, and it will start to turn on. There we go. There you go, guys. You can see that TTA. That stands for Take Things Apart, and that tells you you've got a custom firmware running on here. That was a website that was very much associated with Gizmundo forums at the time. There is the normal Gizmondo boot logo. That is the one you would have seen straight out of the shop. You just wait a little while. That is obviously the sat nav and stuff kicking itself in. And the uh, OS booting up. See it's spinning there, you know it's working. Well, there we are. So, yeah, it does take a little while, guys, because of the GPS and all that. Right, trying to keep it out of the light here, guys. Here is the menu you would be greeted with. Now, with this being what is originally the Smart Ads version at the bottom there, on the menu you can see Smart Ads, which is not highlighted. That is because it never was in, you know, ever, ever used, guys. It was never, never used. And you ended up getting a cheaper machine for something that was never used. Obviously, the original black bezeled one. By that, I mean this bezel here, guys, which is obviously silver on this one. All the way around there, around the screen is silver. It was a black version. And that was a premium one where you didn't have the smart as bit in the menu here. So, obviously, it's a Gizmundo. It could do a lot of things at the time. So, you can see the top there, games. Then you have movies, you have music, messaging, because it is obviously text message enabled. You have GPS and web, so in other words, sat-nav sat and internet. You have camera images, because it has got a camera built into it. Let's turn it around a minute and show you. There we are, there's the camera. Just above the old Gizmondo icons there. And you can see the two shoulder buttons, as weird as they are, but they work beautifully. So yeah, that is a camera, a VGA one, very, very basic, but at least it had one. But back onto the menu, guys, and then you have contacts, because obviously you can do text messaging, so you want your contacts there, don't you? Then you have a application thing, uh, where, yeah, you, <laughs> you might be able to find a few apps, you know, like a calculator and things like that. A money converter as well. Then you have settings, and then of course the smart ads bit. But yeah, what we're interested in, guys, is the games, isn't it? And how you can have the whole back catalogue and more. Oh, he says, no, knock it back up. And more, guys, on this thing. You can literally have the whole back catalogue and then some. So yeah, what a fantastic device this is to have this day and age guys because you don't have to buy any games so yeah it has gone down guys so i shall get it back up oh here we go it's booting back in again guys don't know why it did that just felt like it no doubt 
can be a bit temperamental sometimes, they always were. There it goes again with the old custom firmware. It boots in again. Oh, it's doing it again. Right, okay then guys, right back in a second, we'll have a look at some games, shall we, on this baby as it keeps on booting in and out. Right, here we go guys, with the game list. So, you know you're there when you've got Shizmo in the background there with the Guns N' Roses type symbol there. Um, yeah, that was a guy who was working with the Gizmondo forums, all those guys together. And uh, yeah, he managed to get these games up and running, shall we, on here. So that was fantastic. So, right, let's go right to the top. Let's skip through all these. Look, right, okay. This is an augmented reality game. Um, does work to a fashion. There we have Alien Humid, Humidin, whatever you want to pronounce it. Uh, yeah, it's a, a working version of it, guys, and it has quite a bit of it on there. Not complete. Ball Buster, that's an unreleased one as well. That is complete and it's fantastic. You have Carmageddon, again, it wasn't released, but it is complete. Catapult is another augmented reality one. Then you have Chicane, Jensen Button Street Racing, which was rebranded after Gizmondo went and uh, failed, of course, and uh, was renamed to Fastlane Street Racing and released it to iPhone and uh, iPad and iPod and whatever. Then we have Classic Compendium and Classic Compendium 2. Then we have Colours, which is uh, unreleased, guys, but complete, more or less. And it is uh, yeah, a Grand Theft Auto style game. Uh, yeah, it gets pretty um, adult, shall we say. Conflict Vietnam, that was released. Then we have the first of the emulators. Now, the, you'll notice that the, uh, the icons are missing. That is because we haven't actually got any games on here. Because we don't really use it as an emulator anymore. But this is, you know, a possibility for you if you want it. So this one is the NES one. Then we've got Fat Hammer Classics that was released. That is a collection of little games. Fantastic. FIFA Football 2005. Very big franchise that was released. Furious Phil. Again, it's a bit of a tech demo. It was not released. Here again, another emulator, guys. This is Gizboy. So obviously a Game Boy emulator. No icon again. Then you have Gizmondo Motocross 2005. That is a pretty competent enough little motorbike racer. Then you have the uh, <laughs> yeah, the sat nav guys from 2000 and oh, is it 2006? I do believe. Yeah, 2006. If you follow that now, guys, you probably end up in. Uh, Africa. Uh, still could be quite fun to uh, stick it on and get lost. There we have another one of the emulators, that is the NES emulator. Then you have a Game Boy Advance emulator. So that you know there's some available here guys and you could turn it into a nice little emulation machine. We have a port of Golden Axe. Hit and Myth, unreleased but complete and fantastic. It is so funny. Then you got Hockey Rage 2005, was released. Brilliant ice hockey game. Interstellar Flames 2, fantastic shoot 'em up, and that was released. Funny whatever, that was not released, guys, but it's uh, just about complete. Brilliant. Jump, that is just a tech demo, guys. That is basically just jumping from building to building, and uh, yeah, it's not complete, but nice to have it anyway. Pick a drive, of course, we all know that one. It's been on many different platforms. That is a Genesis and Mega Drive emulator. Pocket Ping Pong, that was released and it is fantastic. It's a fun little game of girls in bikinis. This is one of the best ones on the Gizmondo. It's Pod Points of Destruction. This is fantastic. Brilliant. Shoot them up, guys. And here's Quake, another fantastic game. Obviously, it's a port. Then you have Richard Burns and Rally. This one, guys, when Gizmundo went kaput, it was ported over to the PS2. And then we have a port of Sonic the Hedgehog. 
And we have SSX3. Fantastic version this was released. Sticky Balls, my favourite game on the Gizmondo. Just adore it, guys. And that was obviously released. Then you have Supernaturals. That is just a demo again, guys. Just a tech demo. Then you have Toy Golf. This was released and it is fabulous. It is a brilliant toy, uh, brilliant mini golf game, guys. Toy Golf, brilliant. And of course, the ultimate version of Trailblazer. Oh, what an awesome version it is. Right, let's go up to, hmm, what shall we pick? Oh, shall we do Pod? So many of you love, love, love shoot em ups. So we'll have a look at Pod, shall we? Right, here we go, guys. See how far we get here. Even the music to this is awesome, as you're about to find out. You go your menu, play game, choose level, high scores, options and exit to OS. That would take you back to the list of games. So, play a game. See how well I do this with the viewfinder guys, probably not very well at all. As you can see it's a shoot em up with a difference. Oh, I'm already dead, look, viewfinder, terrible. I'll try and look over my shoulder, kind of over my shoulder. I'd be a bloody miracle worker if I could do that. Okay. Try and look over the screen is what I meant to say. Cool. Yeah. Way up. Of course, you get those little power up discs that come down. Like that. There they come, the suckers. Yeah. You can see it's a shoot them up. What was the difference? And it's gorgeous. Let's get those power-ups if you can, unlike me, where I can't see them properly. You're on a timer, and once that timer runs out, you've beaten the level. It gets harder and harder and harder, guys. Although I have always managed to get a really good score, unless I'm using a viewfinder. Oh, I keep missing those discs, though. Oh, even that one I missed it. Bugger. There was one again I missed. You can see guys, it's fantastic. What an awesome bloody game this is. And you can move up and down the screen like this. And across, ooh, and you can die like that. But yeah, you can move up and down the screen. Oh, I died straight away because I was trying to show you. But that's all right. That's okay, we had a good little look there. That is brilliant. So let's go to here, go into the menu, and then we'll quit to all S. Yes, thank you very much. Now we'll go back into here, straight back into the game menu, and uh, we'll have a look at another one. Uh, what shall we go for this time? Hmm, shall we go for. Ooh. Maybe go for. Pocket ping pong. I'm going to find a bloody thing going the wrong bloody way. I don't know, that's why, fool. Right, okay, let's go up to pocket ping pong. Helps if you're going the right way. There we go. Yeah, we'll choose that one then. Yeah, there we go. There's a big symbol there of it. <laughs> Shizmo. This is a Fat Hammer game as well, guys, and it's not even on the Fat Hammer completion. This is a really fun game. Let's have a quick vapor this loading. There you go with the music. You hear him singing? Just every now and then. Right, here we go. Yeah, we'll go for arcade, that'll do. I tell you what, these buttons are surprisingly wonderful. 
It might not look it, that D-pad might look a bit iffy, but it isn't, it's fantastic. Right, so here's where you choose your girls. We'll go for her with the older cowboy hat on. I, think, oh, I can't remember what she's called now. I meant to take notice and I didn't. Oh, Busty, that's it. Busty playing against Summer. Come on, Busty. Right, there we go. Come on, Busty. Way, that's it. Yeah, I'm doing all right at the moment. Oh, bugger. Hey, did I get that? I don't know. It's my serve anyway. You can see it's very simple, guys. But pretty fun. Oh, she just got one, did she? Yes, she bloody did. Oh, yeah. Ooh, she's a bitch. Oh. Over her big boobies. Oh. Yeah, doing terrible. That's all right. We're only having a quick look anyway. Oh, probably just as well. Ah. Oh yeah. Oh. It's terrible, terrible trying to do this over a viewfinder. It's as simple as that, guys. Oh yeah, I got that one. Yeah. Still didn't get anything that. Oh dear. Here she comes. Oh, I keep knocking it off the table. I lost, yeah, I get that, yeah, yeah, I guess I'd lose. No, we'll let it run out, guys. So, yeah, you can see, guys, that's a pretty competent game if I wasn't playing it over a bloody viewfinder. Oh, dear me. Right, we need to get to the menu to quit. Yeah, we'll go back. Come on. That's it. We'll go to Exit OS, which will be down the bottom. Where is it? Oh, there we go, Exit Game. Yes, thank you very much. That's another one looked at. We'll go back into the games. And we'll have a look at another one. What shall we have a look at this time? Something else we haven't shown very often. I'm going to go into the, uh, the emulators. Just see what happens. It's possible they're still sitting on there. I don't think so, though, guys. But I'll give it a go. Let's have a look. I'm going to do anything. Yeah, it's doing something. But you can see, look, it's, it's, you know, it's there. Um, whether I'm going to be loading the ROM or not is another matter. Oh, there is a load on here, guys. Well, that's fantastic. This has just turned it into a new level, hasn't it? So, right, okay, then. Shall we just have a look at the uh, standard Sonic the Hedgehog, shall we? You're going to see how well it runs on a Gizmondo. Probably can't hear that very well. I hope you can hear it well enough because it's too much of a pain in the ass to change the old uh, sound at the moment. As you can see, guys, it is running absolutely fine. And at full speed, and that sound is crystal clear, guys. Yeah, it is perfect. So how about that, eh? We did get to see some wicked now i've just got to remember how to quit it yeah that is fantastic oh i wasn't even playing it what a fool oh that's funny isn't it eh? right okay then right here we go then are we playing it this time oh yes we're playing it this time <laughs> what an idiot oh that's funny now come on you're gonna give me a stick for that for the next year i actually thought i was playing it Deary me, what a fool. There we go, yeah, you can see guys, it is playing beautifully. And the sound is awesome as well, if you can actually hear it. Oh, I just lost, left the box behind, come on, where's it gone? Oh, it's bloody gone already. Uh, come on, you. Uh, just very difficult to see with the viewfinder again, guys. But yeah, that is fantastic. How do I quit it again, though? That is the thing. Let's see if it was this one. Yes, it's that one, is it? Yeah, and then we go back with which one? That one? Oh, yeah, back again. There we go. Cool. And then we can exit here. That's it. So, yeah, fantastic, guys, that you got that there. So we're going to go down and have a look at some of the others. Where was the next one? I think it was up here, wasn't it? 
Let's see if we can find one. Yeah, here we go. We've got the uh, Game Boy Advance one. That'll be interesting. If there's any on it. Oh, there is something there. Look, 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 look. Hey. But is it going to work? No, it's not. That's a shame. Oh, well. But it does work, guys, and it works very, very well, in fact. I don't know if this has got any on it at all. It doesn't look like it, does it? No, it hasn't got any on it, guys. That's a shame. Oh, well. Here he goes, quitting on me. Go on, then, quit. Go away. That's it. Back in. So, yeah, it's just they haven't got any ROMs on, guys. It was lucky that we had the uh, Mega Drive one. Has this got any on it? Uh, no, no, none there. Oh, well. Okay, well, at least you've got to see Mega Drive running. I won't even bother trying anything else. Uh, let's have a look at another game. Uh, let's go for... Hmm, hmm, hmm. He says... Ooh, 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 what shall we go for? Yeah, yeah. Shall we go for Interstellar Flames? Just got to find it. It's so difficult to see. It really is. I keep saying it, but it is. Where the hell is it? There we are. Right, let's have a go at this one then. An angelfish is fantastic on here, which is in the uh, compendium, the Fat Hammer compendium. That is another fantastic one. This has got a lovely art style to it. A lot of the games, uh, especially the shooters, have. Have a quick vape while that's playing. Right, come on then. Yep, play a game. <clears throat> yep, that'll do. As you can see, guys, it is that kind of shooter. Not something I'm very good at. As you can see, we haven't shot a single bloody thing. And I won't either. Not using the viewfinder. i got no fucking chance of shooting anything. I'll just get shot a lot. So yeah, that is an awesome game though, guys. Awesome. I mean, you would absolutely love that if you love your shooters. And if you could actually see it properly. If I was holding the actual screen in front of my eyes instead of the camera. Oh, look at that crash. Bang, wallop. Oh dear, look at that. It would be good, it would. Wasn't it fantastic seeing a Mega Drive game running on here? It was brilliant. Right, okay, so I want to quit this without dying first. Here we go. So, yeah, we can go back. Oh, right, you can go back there, yeah. Right, okay. I thought you could actually quit the game this way as well. But I think it's just going to take you back to the game. Yeah, there we are. Quit. Okay, so at least it takes you there. Yes, quit. Yes, I want to quit. Yeah, bugger. Exit game. Yeah, thank you. Back in again. Right, well, that is, you know, it, I mean, it is fantastic to see these games playing, guys. Absolutely fantastic. I think what we're going to do, because this is getting to be a bit of a long one now, and it is all about emulation more than anything, isn't it, and custom firmwares and things. Let's go back into the Mega Drive one, because we've now got a ton of games in it, and we'll have a look at another one and see how that performs. Right, so we played Sonic. Let's have a look at, oh... What is Super Mario World doing there? Ooh, is that even going to run? That would be funny, wouldn't it? Wouldn't that be hilarious? Let's have a look. No, it's not going to have it. Not going to have it, that one. That's a bit of a naughty one there. I bet that was a hack of some sort. It's not working. 
Uh, let's go for something else. Just something, come on. Uh, 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 uh. Obviously, we had Sonic there, didn't we? Oh, there's, well, there's Sonic 2, isn't there? Sonic the Hedgehog, blah, 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 blah. This might be the only one on here, guys, to be honest, because they all seem to have been dropped into the same place. Ah, so that'll be for the SNES then. Ooh, right, okay, then in that case, let's go back and exit. And let's see if we can't get the SNES one to work. That would be interesting, wouldn't it? Just remembering where the bloody hell it is. Again, trying to do everything through the viewfinder is never easy. All right, I'm probably going completely the wrong way. Yeah, completely the wrong way, guys. So we'll go right back. Oh, what was that in there? Uh, 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 no. Right, let's go back. Right to the beginning, and then I'll find it. Right, so I know it's no further past here. So we'll just keep going down. Yeah, you're on an interesting journey with me. There's the uh, Gizboy again. But that ain't the one we want. We want Giznesta. Oh, it could be that one, I suppose. Let's have a look. No, it isn't that one. Bug off. Right. Where are you? You're here somewhere, you sod. Uh, I don't know that we have much luck, does it? No, okay then, that's fair enough, whatever. Be awkward then. But yeah, as you can see guys, it's been awkward with me, but yeah, fantastic. I'm sure that it's here somewhere. Um, and if not, then the ROM is still there and the emulator has been taken, taken away for the snares. One, annoying me with this bloody viewfinder, I'm probably going past it. Oh, there it is, look, there it is. Oh my God. And I've got glasses, guys, I've got glasses. Right, let's see if anything will happen. Just to finish it all off, that would be good, wouldn't it? Uh, right, okay, what are we saying here? Select ROM, let's have a look. Are you gonna go back there? Or should we just go back to that one? Let's have a look, yeah, we'll just go back to return to game. Okay, let's see if that brings up the actual game. That was last played. No, it won't. Okay, then. Hmm. So, where is Mario, then? All right, maybe we're just not going to see it, guys, eh? Showing all the Gizmondo games, eh? Yeah, all of them are there. But, yeah, not really finding any of the ROMs. So, oh, well, no. Oh, there it is, look. Ah, there it is. Let's see if it runs. No, it's kicked me out. After all that, guys, it kicked me out. Oh, how annoying is that? But I'm telling you now, it works like a treat. Yes, I should have been more prepared for this. Hmm. But at the end of the day, guys, you have seen Mega Drive running on here. And you've seen, you know, just a couple of the fantastic games. Now, obviously, if you want more of this, let me know and I will show you more. But I thought we'd revisit the Gizmondo just for a little while. As messed up as it was, really, with going wrong here and there and everywhere. Yeah, oh well. But with that, guys, I'm going to say the usual. If you're not subbed already, please drop me a sub. Give me a thumbs up. And of course, guys, tap the bell icon and the all icon to get any future notifications and again guys if you're watching this you must like emulation and retro games and um, got a fantastic group for you over on facebook myself and the admin team over on the ambanic unofficial fan group will take care of you anything to do with emulation whether it's portable home consoles whatever We've got lots of videos for you to watch lots of tech help and just plain fantastic banter with everybody and then guys i also have my uk crap gaming group as well over on facebook again 
anything to do with gaming guys with that one whether it's retro or modern and loads and loads of videos from other youtubers and just banter galore fantastic place again to talk about anything to do with gaming and then finally guys i have a patreon if you would like to go below there is a link there you can go over to patreon watch my video on why i set it up in the first place and then decide if you're going to join me on my patreon journey right and with that i'm going to love you and leave you and see video then cheers and goodbye guys and i'll see you in the next one bye bye